All right, we are all set. All right, uh, good evening. I'm Patrick Clark, principal at Nauset Regional High School. And uh, we're, we're meeting tonight with some representatives from Educatius, uh, who is going to be our partner organization to help uh, reboot the Nauset High School International Student Program. And I wanted to introduce some people first, and then we're gonna have a dialogue that I think will help uh, families understand uh, the goals of the program and uh, decide if they would like to be uh, host families, um, homestay families um, for the Nauset region. So uh, the first person I'd like to have introduce herself is Jenna Margotta, who is a, a veteran teacher at the high school and is also going to be the point person on the program for us. So Jenna. Hi, everybody. So I'm Jenna Margotta. I am the International Student Program Coordinator for Nauset High School um, and will be available for questions after you watch this. Great. Thank you. And our friends from Educatius, if they wouldn't mind introducing themselves, and I will start with uh, Melanie. Hi, I'm Melanie Smith. I'm the Director of School Relations for Educatius. We're absolutely thrilled to be partnering again with Nauset High School and bringing students to this great community and giving them a wonderful experience as well as our local local families. Thank you. Thank you. And Jody. Hi, my name is Jody Del Razo, and I'm the National Placement Director for Educatius. And I happen to live in Boston, so very close to Nauset. And um, in the past years, I've worked closely with the program that Nauset had uh, several years ago uh, when we had international students going to the high school. So we're very excited to, uh, to start the program up again and welcome our students into Nauset High School. Great. Thank you. And Maria? Hi, my, my name is Maria Ribal. I'm at the regional manager. I oversee Boston area. Um, I'm very excited to work with you, uh, with NOSA. And uh, what my role is to work with the student and the host families. Um, you know, that's, um, that's what I do for um, a while. Um, so I was a local coordinator before for a few years. And then I took over, I started with the regional manager and I still enjoy to work uh, with education and also with the program is amazing. And then I'm, I'm a host as well. So <laughs> I've been like an LC, a host family LC and regional manager now. So I'm very excited to work with you guys. Great, thank you. So uh, we had a conference call back a couple of weeks ago uh, with Melanie to uh, just talk about the reboot of this program. And maybe Melanie, you could just uh, spend a, a minute or two talking about what are the responsibilities and what are the pluses of being a host family for a homestay for an international student? Um, sure. I um, So basically what we um, work with is international students from 50 different countries. We have a large, um, diverse group of students that come to the U.S. and often want to attend school in the Massachusetts, Boston area. And um, that tends to be a, ver a big draw. There are, you know, the majority of the top rated institution, educational institutions are in Massachusetts. So that tends to be a reason why kids like to come there. But we do look for families within the community, families that may or may not be connected with the school that can provide a caring environment, some support for the student while they are here in the U.S., kind of giving, that, giving them answers to the ropes of um, being a, a teenager and a high school student in the United States, um, and just asking them to really just treat them like, the, like their family, giving them um, responsibilities and uh, to be part of the family and do the things that the rest of the kids in the home do if there are other children in the home. But our host families are a variety of different um types of families we have single parents we have empty nesters we have families with teenagers in their home and we have families with young children at home and no older children and we i know when i first started hosting my children were all young at home and our kids our students absolutely love talking to my little kids because they would just laugh at them when they would say something and they go, no, you don't say it like that. You say it like this. Or, And it was a very comfortable way for the international students to really practice and feel more confident in speaking 
um, English to the to um, the kids and to the family. So I'd really like to turn it over to Jody as she is the national placement director and her team is really over all of the host families and um, uh, local coordinators. So let me give Jody some time to kind of talk about this. Sure. Right. Thanks, Melanie. So yes, Melanie did a great job explaining about our host family program. Um, I'll go into a little bit, I'll talk a little bit about um, the process and what it looks like to become a host family and the support that you'll also receive if you become a host family and also the support that we offer to the students. So um, as Melanie said, we love to have community members um, host our international students. Um, to become a host family, we have a host family application, which is done online. And the host family fills out the application, answers questions about the home, the family, the neighborhood, um, any likes um, or interests that they have, hobbies and such. Um, and then every host family, anyone who's living in the home that's 17 years or older has to go through a criminal background check, which is also done online. So we have the families, family members go through a criminal background check. We also check references. This is all within the host family application. Then we have um, a local coordinator. I'll get into a little bit more about what the local coordinator does. The local coordinator will come to the host family's home and do an in-home visit. So this will be a time where um, the host family and the local coordinator can talk with each other, get to know one another, because they'll be working very closely while they're hosting the students. And the host family can ask the local coordinator any additional questions that they might have. The local coordinator will get a tour of the home, the space spaces where the student will be staying within the home, spending time. Um, and then within the host family application, there's also a photo album, which we send eventually send to the students. Um, and then uh, the as I was speaking about the local coordinator, the local coordinator is someone who lives within driving distance to the host family's home and the student's home. So this is the this will be the host family's and the students go to person. So they'll be checking in on the host family and the student on a monthly basis, making sure everything's okay. A lot of times they might go to like the basketball games or the soccer games with the students or if they're in the play. So we like to say that the local coordinator is the student's best friend when the student arrives in the country. So the student has someone that they can depend on. Oftentimes they're in contact with their local coordinator before they come into the United States. Um, so the, the local coordinator also develops a relationship with the host family and the students. Um, so they're, they're really there to help support and, and watch um, the students and the host family have a wonderful experience. They do monthly reports for educatious and for the natural parents. We send over to the students' natural parents on a monthly basis, which includes what the student was doing for the month. We um, update the grades on a monthly basis as well, because want to make, of course, their parents want to make sure that they're doing well in school. Um, so they do the monthly reports. Then we also have a student experience team. And this team is also um, very um, instrumental with students support with supporting the international students. So if the students have any are having any struggles. Um, or need some extra um, attention, our student experience team um, will be there to support them. And many of our student experience team have lived abroad, studied abroad, or also speak other languages. So they can communicate with the student in their, in their natural tongue, which can be very helpful for the students. Um, let's see, Maria, did I miss anything? Well, yeah, I wanna mention, you know, at my end is like, um, the host family is not by themselves. We always, we have a team that is behind that work very close with them uh, as well as the student. Um, so our goal is to, you know, they'll be happy and the student will be happy as well. Um, so anything, anything that arise, or we are always there. Uh, if the local coordinator cannot be there, the regional manager step in, it just go and, you know, get everything uh, done. So it's very important because sometimes, you know, I can see doing this for a quite a while, um, you know, sometimes people get 
skeptical to do says like oh it's a lot of work i don't know you know these teenagers you know because they have of, of course they have most of like they have children so they know like we know how the stage we face like when you were raising kids um but you know it's very important to let them know that um that we are behind them we are all the support we can provide them we be there for them so that's like i i work myself very close and with like my role with as a lc uh, a local coordinator, I, I learn a lot. So, and then with, as a regional manager, I'm always there as well. I like to be in contact. I like to connect with the host families as well. Uh, and anything that if I always say, if they cannot reach the uh, local coordinator, because most of our local coordinator work for a, a full-time job, they have a full-time job, I'm always available. I'm always on the phone. If something is very important, is an emergency, I'm always going to be there for them. So that's a, I wouldn't, ex, you know, say that. Thank you, Maria. Oh, well. Great. Well, one, uh, something we hope to have happen is we're going to be starting the program off small. And whether mm -hmm. it starts halfway through next school year or if we have to wait until the following September, we'll have, we'll figure that out. Um, but our point person to start on the school side is going to be uh, Jenna Margotta. Jenna, as a young person, had travel learning experiences and was really uh, enthusiastic when she saw this program uh, getting recharged. So I wanted to introduce Jenna and just talk a little bit about uh, how she sees her role going with the program. Absolutely. So yeah, like Pat um, just said, I um, prior to starting college, I lived half of my life abroad and experienced a handful of, um, probably two handfuls of um, situations where I would travel to other countries and stay for, you know, a few weeks um, and live with host families. So I'm very familiar with that end of it um, as the student. Um, and then at the high school, I am a special education teacher and am very involved with my students and at the school with the international students. Um, you know, they would be able to seek me out during the school day, which I think is important um, for in the moment school related um, concerns. You know, I'll be checking in, also be in contact with the host families um, and be assisting, you know, anything academically that that might arise, um, you know, during their school day, outside of the school day, all of that. Great. Thank you. So. Uh, we're hoping that people are going to use this uh, video just to learn a little bit about the background, about the program, and uh, we'll, when we post this, we'll have our contact information there. But I just want to make sure that we're, we're not missing anything um, on the education folks side. Anything else on your minds before we wrap up? I would, um, if I have a couple of minutes, just to talk a little bit about our students, um, just so... Um, everyone who watches the video can get a good understanding of who they are, where they come from. So our students come from 60 different countries. Um, they are super brave, very impressive, and just amazing kids. As Marie was saying, they're teenagers. So I mean, I have teenagers, I have a high schooler myself, so we know how they can be sometimes. But I mean, these kids, they come in and they just want to really soak up this American experience. They really want a loving host family. They want to be part of their family. They want to take part in all the American traditions of the American football games, Halloween. They love carving pumpkins. Um, they really just want to take it all in. And I, every year I tell them to um, enjoy every moment because it goes by so quickly. So now they're start they're getting ready to go home it's the end of the school year and you see them and they're they're looking really sad because they know it's coming to an end but their their english language skills are pretty strong um so a lot of people will ask like do they speak english yes they speak english their english language skills are pretty strong um sometimes when they first arrive it might take a little bit of time for their language to really kick in but after like the first month they're they're really kind of they're able to go in mainstream classes uh, a lot of them take ap classes and their grades can be very very impressive um so they 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 ha have high expectations for themselves academically and they usually do very well they also really love participating in the sports team. So we have lots of great soccer players, volleyball players, swimmers, 
Um, but yeah, they're really great kids. Um, they're very, obviously they're social, you know, to come on this experience is putting yourself out of your comfort zone. So they want to come, they want to make friends. They have a lot to offer and they really, you know, take in this experience. We, we tell our host families that, uh, this is usually the most, one of the most impactful, if not the most impactful experience that a teenager might have in their, or a person may have in their lifetime. So this is a really important oppor experience and opportunity for them. And also for us um, to support them, but also for the host families who are able to host them and be part of the journey. Um, families, host families stay in touch with the students for years after. We go to their weddings when they get married. We were there when they have their children. I mean, it's just we're really just kind of bringing the world together and it's, it's, it's so wonderful. So they're great kids. Uh, they have lots of um, interests and hobbies. So whatever your family's interested in or whatever you participate in, I'm sure we can find a student that would, that would love to be part of your family. So that's, they're the most important part of the program, right? So. <laughs> right. Thank you. And from a financial standpoint, the way that this works is uh, students would be paying a tuition to come to the school, but uh, the families are also compensated. And while it's not really an income producing endeavor, uh, it, it kind of covers the costs and, and gives people a little financial incentive to get involved. So just can anyone give a little a summary as to how how that uh, how that breaks down? Yeah, sure. I'll be happy to. So. The students do come and pay a tuition. It's, it covers the cost of the NOSIT being able to educate them, but also the host family does receive a stipend. And we do provide that stipend in order to, for the families to cover the costs of having a teenager in their home. But the other benefits for this is that there are um, huge benefits for your community economically. We find that um, about 60% of the cost of uh, international program goes right back into the local community, whether it's into the school district or it's at the local grocery store or gas station or wherever that may be right there in the, in the uh, community. So we see that it's a huge benefit, not only for the district and the community and the student, the local students, the local host families. I mean, it's such a win-win program for everyone We've just seen it be just profoundly impactful for everyone involved. And I'm sure Jenna can attest to this with her travels as well, that you just, it's something that changes you. The kids will remember this for the rest of their lives. It will um, be a learning experience that they can't learn these things anywhere else, but on an exchange program. And um, it helps to also provide that broader perspective, I think, for everyone, that we understand each other's cultures and differences, that we are accepting of, the, our, of each other's differences, as well as our, the things that we have similar. Um, so it's just a, it's a fabulous program. We're very, um, all of us that work for education are very passionate about it, because just because we've just seen the benefits for everyone involved. Um, that go through the program. I think for us, um, you know, we're so geographically isolated out here, um, just Cape Cod as a whole, and then Nauset all the way where we are. Um, you know, having this global experience for our students without having to leave the Cape um, will be really great and, and eye-opening. Um, I was an international student who came and attended NOSIT for a year, um, my freshman year, and um, just in talking with my peers, it was it was eye-opening for them. I had moved from India, and um, everyone thought I was leaving the Indiana off of it. Um, that so you know just things like that, those types of situations is. Um, mutually beneficial for everybody. So our, our region also has a large percentage of retirees mm -hmm. and we have a very, uh, you know, highly engaged, uh, great positive uh, set of families who send their students to the school. So either way, whether you're re retirees who you live in the area or you are uh, a Nauset family with a, with a student or some students who attend, um, 
either of those home arrangements, I, I believe, would be just fine as hosts, correct? Absolutely. We would welcome any type of family. You know, as I mentioned earlier, we have student families that are retired, are empty nesters. We have families, you know, with in all walks of life. And those that is America. You know, we want our students to experience the culture and that's what they're they're hoping to do as well, just to merge themselves into the American culture and become an American teenager for a year. <laughs> Great. Well, those of us, uh, we live on Cape Cod and we sometimes forget how beautiful uh, our home is. Uh, Nauset Regional High School, as everyone knows, is uh, one of two schools in the eastern seaboard uh, inside a national park. Uh, we, you know, if you stop in the morning to have your coffee and do the wordle at Fort Hill, uh, you're looking out over the Atlantic Ocean and the next stop is Portugal. And you know, we're geographically in this just wildly beautiful place. And if uh, families in Nauset uh, could see to it to becoming host families, we could, you know, let, let that beauty be something that students from around the globe get to experience. So we're really excited about rebooting the program. So um, just before we sound off, uh, Jenna, anything else or anything else from the education folks? Nope, just my in, my email inbox is open and um, I am really excited for this to get going. Um, I think it's going to be awesome for our school and our community. And and thank you to Educatius and Melanie and Jody and Maria for, for being here and, and answering these questions and, and filling us in on what it's going to be like for host families. Great. And Educatius folks, last word from you. I just am thrilled to be working with Nosset again. Uh, it's such a beautiful community. It's it offers so much for our students, and we're so excited to bring that the kids to the community to just spread their information, their cultures, and and become involved. Yeah, as I'm very excited to work with you, I would not say I'm always be here. Anything we can reach out. I'm very excited. It's a new school for me because it was Jody, but it's now is me. <laughs> Great. Yes, yeah. I was um, before I have my current role at Education. I was, and we were work, working with NASA. I was the regional manager, so I'm very familiar with the program that we had previously with NASA. Um, and it was one of my favorite schools and communities to work with. We had a great group of host families that hosted for us year after year. Uh, that's the one thing we have a lot of returning host families because once they host one year, they want to keep hosting year after yes. year. Um, so we had lots of <laughs> wonderful families from NASA and it's beautiful down there. I mean, oh. I will definitely go and visit your school and your host <laughs> families. That's a nice work day for me. So. Great. Well, thank you. We hope uh, the families and the, the folks in the Nauset region uh, step up and decide to take an international student, help us uh, recharge the program. Uh, so that's it for now. And of course, have a Nauset day. Thank you. You thank too. You. Thank you. Bye.